Well, Cancer, I'm happy to say that in terms of the astrology, the moon stays pretty much out of a lot of hairy territory right now up up until next week when it's in perfect conjunction with Chiron and then yes things can get emotional but ultimately um Yeah, ultimately, ultimately, I don't think I don't think that, that I don't think I don't see it causing a big, big problem, except that it is conjuncting Chiron in Aries, which can be a volatile energy to begin with. So we're going to get deeper into the astrology, cancer and the cards. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Um, this is an energy reading, and I use astrology, tarot, and oracle cards to divine weekly insights for you so that you to empower you to know exactly how to work best with the energy that's going to most impact your life this week. Um, this is for whatever week you come across this message, so the message comes to you at the right time always. And there's always an extended reading that I hope that you'll join me for. <clears throat> you can do that through the traditional link system or by joining the Unbound membership, which I hope you will do. There's lots of perks to that. Beside that, let's move on. The astrology this week um, is winding down. <clears throat> As of April 25th, the square between Pluto and the sun, which was definitely de deconstructing um, our ego, um, tearing down those aspects of our ego that weakened us that th those definitely the aspects that were weak in and of ourselves but also um what weakened us what weakened our true potential right because our ego can become our own trap so those are crumbling th those are crumbling down and that square which was very impactful to everyone um especially how we perceived things or kind of what we felt really good at what we gave attention to that's that transit is ending on the 24th 25th and then by the um by april 29th we have um was another major aspect that was that was closing up so i guess what i'm saying is the worst is over and especially you guys are gonna feel you're gonna feel and you're not going to be able to help but feel. But in these feelings, you're going to feel a lightening. And that's a really good thing because we've been through a lot emotionally. No, it's nothing compared can Cancerians. It's nothing compared to what we've been through over the past two and a half years. No. Um, but it has been almost like that time that 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 when you just sh when you shake when you shake after something really bad's happened to you to kind of like be able to finally shake it off and come back into reality, um, come back into a state of you know co cohesiveness and 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 feeling feeling good again. That's where we're headed, and I know that you can feel the lightning happening because you can't help but feel things. Let's face it. Um, Definitely when that perfect conjunction happens next Friday in Chiron, um, I mean in Aries to Chiron, the moon, you're going to definitely feel, I think, a catharsis, a completion, a final release of all those toxins and all that suffering and all that stress that we have endured for so, you know, it, for so long. Um, a final release of that. And it's beautiful because that conjunction doesn't last long. It only lasts about a day. So that's exactly the amount of time that you'll need to just sort of let it all go and really kind of be able to trust again, be able to, um, yeah, oh my God, to be able to uh, decompress. Let's get into the cards. I really want to get into it because I feel like there's so many intuitive messages that need to come out. But the release is palpable at this point you can feel it coming you know it's coming it makes no sense to tell you to not worry because all that makes you think of is well what do i have to worry about but ultimately believe the exhale you can you can rely on it be here now hummingbird spirits um i mean that just proves my point it's joy it's beauty. 
the beauty in things. <sighs> Finally being able to not worry anymore. And by dropping the worry, there is an ability now to see beauty in front of you where once maybe you hadn't seen it or you haven't seen it for a while and it's in the little things but god how much more almost like you've been reborn like a child again and you're able to see uh, be fascinated with a blade of grass or be fascinated with the, the the littlest the littlest tiniest things that's what hummingbird reminds us joy to just be joyful and drink in the sweetness of life as well as see the beauty of the sweetness in life and be able to identify beauty in front of you. Beauty and aesthetics are going to be very prevalent in this energy for you, including you being attractive. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> No. Listen, I don't know your relationship status, but this is definitely the card that says people are going to be attracted to you. People are going to find you beautiful. There is an appeal here to who you are and your innocent lightheartedness. <laughs> You're usually not lighthearted, but that's what's cluing me in to realize that there is a lightheartedness there is a there is a there is a lightening of your energy lightening as in the weight is being lifted off and then we have sometimes life stings that's really interesting <laughs> these two things look like they're almost the same size right um this is in the past <sighs> the pain and suffering is in the past the fear is in the past. The isolation is in the past. This is scorpionic energy. The pain of being alone is in the past. Now there is Libra energy partnership. Does this mean, oh, love of my life? No, but it does mean connection. That can mean friendship. That can mean working with somebody. People want you around. They're attracted to you. Or, you know, yeah, yeah. There's just that, that, that being able to not be alone anymore, not be isolated. So to sum this two cards up, the pain of being alone is gone. Let's keep going. Cancer. Um, three plus four, four equals seven. Six plus four is 10, which means this pain cycle completed. And then we have hummingbird spirit, three plus four. That's seven. Seven is basically the energy of work. Um, so this could be a beautiful connection or a beautiful new opportunity of work coming in as well in this energy. And then we have more Libra energy, be peace. I mean, that's like kind of God sending you a blessing. I'm not trying to be dramatic here. That's, that's what it is. Be peace is just, and I can't stop feeling it. I don't even know where it's coming from. I swear to God, guys, I just had chocolate. I should be completely hyper right now. It's a tranquility. That's what I'm channeling right now. So whatever you're intensely worried about, Cancerians, um, whatever's especially been irritating you, not even making you suffer. This is not a scorpion. You know, this is a friggin' mosquito, right? The, the buzz, the irritation, the worry. Peace. You can also see the dove eating the mosquito. You know, it's like a sense of just like, it done. Done. In the most beautiful, natural way of just tranquility setting in, dove is also a sign of love, right? Peace first, definitely. So that you guys know whenever you see a dove, dove is a totem of peace. It's a messenger that's saying focus on balance, focus on peace, focus on prayer. And then we have you are never alone. <laughs> you know, dude, like... I'm trying to be general here, y'all. It's hard. Not with this reading. Otter spirit. So that is feeling loved. Connectivity. You are never alone. That has to do with more companionship, more partnership. Um, have you made peace with somebody? 
making up with somebody or somebody coming back into your life that you needed to like yeah make amends with i'm not saying that you did anything wrong there's no fingers being pointed here this is just a sense of resolving some sort of issue to come back to being in love or being loved or feeling loved connectivity is all over this reading <laughs> i know i should be i should be more excited i try to stay neutral guys um, we have give with gratitude and grace. It irritated you that you put your, this is in the past. It irritated you that you put so much effort into something that you gave something your all and you didn't get shit back. It almost felt like you were being drained or you were being stung or you were just getting your blood sucked. That's kind of what it was. This sense of putting my all in and not feeling, I feel, and feeling used and feeling used. Or there was just a sense of it not being appreciated. Instead, it kind of being exploited. Whatever you kind of put yourself through or, or put yourself into. Um, this doesn't have to be a person. This could even be what you were doing for work. You know, I put my whole self in. I gave it everything to it. And ultimately, I just got more irritation. This doesn't mean, it does mean you weren't appreciated. Um, and or Or it could be that you put so much of yourself into whatever you were doing that you ended up isolating yourself somehow. And that's where the pain started coming from. That's where the drain started coming from that feeling of, you know, just immersing yourself in something that isolated you and what you really needed was connection. So there's that dichotomy, that sense of being isolated versus being connected, trying to find the balance between getting things done and also being like, like balancing out your work life balance type of thing work home balance life is speeding up this is what's coming here all of a sudden this is going to come in this is gemini energy so it speaks to communications but it speaks to one-on-one -on -one communications um things like that double helix starting to wind together and perfectly flowing um i see friendship here um i see doing things with friends being around friends talking having deep conversations also um um just yeah, communications coming in. We're going to get specifics, but there's communications coming in. Uh, this is Gemini energy. This also could happen very quickly in terms of connection. Uh, we have Gemini energy again. I, I don't know what you're doing. Are you doing something with the Gemini? Or this is Gemini season. Gemini season almost seems like it's, it's rushing, rushing to get there. We have Gemini energy again which is all about um, friendship, all about connection, all about connecting yourself, connecting the dots between yourself, uh, resolving any duality that, hap that was happening within you, feeling like you had to be alone, feeling like, oh, I have to be this when I really want to be this. You know, I really want to love, but I have to act like I'm a hard ass. That kind of thing that sometimes happens to Cancerians when, you know, I, I got to look like I'm strong on the outside, got to have that tough shell, but in but I just want to be with somebody that I can be a mess with, <laughs> that kind of energy. Then we have Juno, which is the protector of marriage and motherhood and family. Um, and this is sort of finding the appreciation or connectivity with those dynamics in life. So that could definitely be speaking to meeting somebody that you'll end up marrying, talking about marriage with somebody, um, Some of you could even be at a wedding. Hold on. And then we have three. I can't even take this anymore. Cancerians, this is Holy Trinity. This is three. It's like three is that perfect triangle. It's, 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 um, I was going to say it, the magic number. When concept goes to connection and there's wherever two or more of you are gathered in my name, there is love, there's God, there's, there's connectivity here. Um, there's that duality, there's two becoming, becoming three in some ways. Okay. And then we have salmon. It's like, you're going to be drawn to this. It's instinctual. This is intuitive to your nature. What is intuitive to Cancerian's nature? Well, taking care of people. Um, but also family that found, found fundamental that foundation also fertility being drawn i'm just gonna say this out loud fucking mating season y'all let me say this to you 
The only time one plus one equals three is pregnancy. So if y'all don't want any of that shit, you better watch it. Wrap it up. Or, or if you looking, if you're looking, this is fertile fertility. Big time. Because that's, what, what, what the hell does salmon uh, swim upstream for? The fun of it? No. They do it to, uh, they do it to me. They do it to procreate. That's what they do it for. It's like you're being drawn home or drawn to a, to somewhere, someplace. And then we have rest and rejuvenate. You're going to feel like you're in an environment where you feel really, really calm. This is natural to you. It's going to be, intuition is going to be so on point, Cancerians, that you're just going to like know where to flow. Don't question it. Step out of the way and let it happen. Four. This is fourth house energy. Reliability. We go from three to four. Stability. Rest and rejuvenate. Are you going somewhere? This could also be going on vacation to relax, rejuvenate, reconstruct yourself, rebuild yourself. I don't say it's planning on vacation. You may not even know that you're going here yet and you may actually just have to go there. Go somewhere and it happens really quickly. You might get noticed that somebody wants you to come in or go somewhere. Mm -hmm. This is Cancerian energy. We have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius is upside down. Um... This is not being seen, right? Or, or not feeling seen. This is in the past. Not feeling seen. Also having a hard time expressing yourself or having a hard time feeling comfortable in crowds or, you know, yeah, in crowds near other people. Having a hard time feeling like you're appreciated or that people see you. Maybe having a hard time fitting in, which was frustrating to you. Um, this is in the past. What does it have to do here? I want to ask that question. What does it have to do? Can you be specific? What, what do you want to take me? Cards. What does it have to do with? Cancer. Uh, sweets. So overindulgences, being overindulgent or going someplace to eat. And then time. How long? have? Oh, maybe finally being able to take a break from... Oh, if you've been overindulging in things for a while, um, this is when it's going to catch up to you. Um, so something, I don't know, could happen or... Um, no, let me just say what I, what I originally felt is that if you've been overcompensating, like overeating or overindulging in a substance of some sort... You've been doing it because you've been lonely. You've been doing it because there's not a connection. This is a sense of finding a connection, and it could even be meeting somebody at a restaurant. Yeah, setting up a time to dine together. So that could also be a date of some sort that's being set. Or, um, and it does, does it have to be romantic? No, this could be asked to, to a business luncheon or a business dinner or having to travel somewhere and meet somebody. Dining is going to be involved. This is really specific. <laughs> Dining is going to be involved. You've waited for this for a while or this is a specific time has been set to um, celebrate with food so this is this is a could be going to a wedding you could be going back home to a wedding something something of that nature okay guys you could be sitting there right now today when you when you listening to this and you could be saying well i don't have any plans what the fuck is she talking about and monday an invitation comes in so i'm just saying like be prepared because Listen to all, like, 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 take notes because this is more specific than any general reading gets to me. This is clean it up, which means something has to be fixed. Something has to be cared for. If, if there was overeating, this is Taurus season. This is Taurus season. So it could even be starting to fix yourself up, but something has to be fixed up. Something has to be cleaned up. Something has to be, I heard, reorganized or, um, something has to be fixed. And then... 
um, message in a bottle, never ending story. Something didn't get to you. That's what has to be fixed. So words coming through, appreciation coming through, or an opportunity coming through that should have gotten to you a long time ago, that's going to be rectified. And it really disappointed you in the past. But that's why the past and the future, these are quantum readings. They come out at the same time for me because it's it's all relating to, because energy doesn't have a timeline, right? Um, um, well, it, okay. It's all coming out at the same time. It's relating directly to this big disappointment in the past. Feeling not appreciated for something that you did for somebody now or or the work that you did. Um, and, and it's like it kept repeating itself because something wasn't getting through or wasn't being connected or wasn't being communicated. That has to be fixed. That has to be remedied. And that is going to be remedied this week. And then we have the fates because the stars are aligning. Got nothing to do with you. In other words, you couldn't control this. You had to wait for the stars to align. Yang energy, bam, the breakthrough finally happens and um, action can be taken. You can take action to fix things and boy, is it going to make you happy. Or somebody is taking action to fix things and boy, is it going to make you happy. We're going to get deeper into this, even more specific. I hope you join me for the extended. Those links are below.